Hello everyone, Gaz Williams here, and firstly let me say Happy New Year to each and every one of you. Let's hope it's an awesome year. I mean, 2019, blimey, we don't know what lies ahead, but uh, us musicians and artists and the like, let's continue to spread the message of peace and love. Very important in these divisory times. However, the reason I'd like to talk today is I want to kind of specifically address an issue that I've encountered. Now, this relates to the 2018 iPad Pro, which promises to be an absolutely fantastic device for music making. Uh, I say promises to be, well, there's still some issues going on. Firstly, I just do want to mention that Apple removing the iPad's headphone socket is a bad move, a really bad move. It's really damaged the iPad as a useful music creation device. It really has. And the reason is about latency. You need to have a wired connection if you want to run the apps at super low latency, you know, so there's no delay from when you play a note to hearing the note. Apple should have had low latency wireless drivers ready. I don't know how they would have done it, but they should have had it by, by, the, by removing the headphone jack. There should be a low latency option. There isn't. So bad, bad form Apple. And that's kind of really the reason why the issue that I'm going to explain is such a problem. I was looking for a means to be able to simultaneously charge this iPad, plug in a bunch of peripherals, maybe MIDI controllers and the like, and also be able to plug in like a headphone or just to actually just plug it straight into an amplifier or something. I was looking for a hub that could maybe do all of this. And after, oh gosh, wading through hundreds of like peculiar brand names I've never heard of before, I found this one, uh, Yuasu, Yuasu. <laughs> and this seemed to be like really cool. Other than the fact that, you know, these cables are a bit too short, so it sort of just sort of doesn't quite reach the table when the iPad is kind of plugged in. It's, that's one of the problems just need to be a few inches longer and would have been fine. This is the main issue that I kind of want to talk about. This headphone socket, as soon as I connect this into the iPad, then the iPad speakers stop working and it assumes that you've got headphones plugged in even when this socket hasn't got anything plugged into it. So like, you know, the behavior that we know from all iPads prior to this, the sound comes out the speakers, you plug the headphones in, the sound comes out your headphones not with this. So this, so I really wanted to warn you about that, that, that uh, maybe some other hubs behave differently. Maybe some software update will come out in the future, but right now you have to have your headphones plugged in or some speakers plugged in. Otherwise you're going to lose the functionality of your speakers. And one of the nice things about this iPad Pro is it sounds great. It's got like tweeters and woofers and the sound is really chunky and quite impressive. Apple have really shot themselves in the foot with the removal of the headphone jack and should be called out for it. I mean, this hub is probably fine when it's connected to lots of laptops that use USB-C. I think we probably need to hold on until we get hubs that are certified to be use, used with iPad Pros. Maybe it's still early days for that. You know, I don't want to blame this particular company because this wasn't designed for an iPad. It's just a generic USB-C hub. Anyway, that's it for now. I'm Gaz Williams. Thank you very much. Catch you soon.